something sensational. Oh, yeah. We are just 24 hours away from little Margot's birthday. I can't believe that she is about to be one year old. If you can't tell, the theme of the party is a tea party. We'll be going out later on to pick up a few more things to make tomorrow special. Over here is the baking area. It's just gonna be the four of us, which makes me so sad, but for obvious reasons, I'm just doing box mix for me, Brandon, and Sebastian, and I'll be making cupcakes. And then I'm going to do her smash cake in these two tins, and I'm gonna be making it out of these ingredients because she has a ton of allergies, so I just found like the cleanest, most allergy free <laughs> cake recipe I could find. I made it to test it out about a month ago and it was good. So that's just what she's gonna have. And it turns out that this kind of frosting is vegan. So I'll just be able to use some regular frosting for her, which is nice. We are out of vanilla extract, but I looked at a different recipe and they say you can just use maple syrup. So I guess we'll just use some of this and the oven is preheating. Over here on the table, there's a few more gifts that I need to wrap, and we have a baby doll for her. Uh, one of my girlfriends sent over a gift that I'm gonna wrap for her. And then we also have this other gift that we need to wrap, which is her name. It's like a puzzle with her name on it. Uh, inside of here is some pajamas from Brandon and I that I need to wrap because this box is hideous. I did it already with this one and it turned out so cute. And then this is also Another gift for her from my best friend. We're slowly going to whip this thing up and make it look as nice as we can. I'm about to start on the cakes. Also, hi, I haven't shown my face. <laughs> Right, the cupcakes are in and I ended up only doing 16 instead of 24. I overfilled a couple of them because I just, we don't need that many cupcakes so we might as well just make really big ones. And yeah, they're in and now it's time to make Sebastian's, I mean, <laughs> wrong baby, make Margot's cake. I found the recipe for Margot's cake from Pinterest from this website called Totally The Bomb. And it's literally, as you can see, with no eggs, milk, or butter. So it's completely vegan. This is just what we have to do until we can get to the bottom of all of her allergies. We're still waiting for blood work to come back. So until then, the main ingredients are all-purpose flour, sugar, baking soda, salt, white vinegar, vegetable oil, water, and pure vanilla extract. Like I said, we are out of vanilla. My husband used it on pancakes the other day, so we're just gonna use the maple syrup. And also, I'm gonna use whole wheat flour instead, just because, I mean, it's better for you. Not that this is a healthy recipe by any stretch of the imagination. I've made this once before, but I did it in a glass square pan. So we'll see how it turns out. But basically what you're supposed to do is in the dry ingredients, you make three different divots. And in the two smaller divots, you put the mixture of white vinegar and syrup, or what would be the vanilla extract in these two. And then you put the vegetable oil in the big one, and then you stir it all up. I'm not really quite sure why you do it that way, but that's what they said. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna transfer them to here. I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be like when I transfer it since I'm not making it in this like I made it in the glass pan last time. Also, if anyone's wondering why you shouldn't fill your cupcake tins too high, it's because they look like muffins when they come out, but that's okay. I have flowers that I'm gonna put on top of them and they're gonna be so pretty when they're done. After you make the divots, you just pour water over the whole thing and then mix it all together. And then I'm gonna separate it between these two. Hopefully it's enough, if not, I'll make a third one when these are done. So it's been a little minute. I just pulled the cakes out of the oven. They just finished baking. I'll show them to you in a second, but I wanted to show you this. It's a little plastic, very inexpensive tiered high tea tray from Amazon. I didn't want to buy an expensive one since no one's coming to this party but us, but it's getting the job done. So tomorrow I'm going to put some tea sandwiches and macaroons and whatever else we can find on here. And I think that that will be just fine since it's just us. These flowers over here are going to top the cupcakes and these flowers here are going to go these ones are going to go on top of her cake. I think that that'll be pretty. Over here is her cake, and I'm about to take them out of here so that they don't keep cooking while they're in there. They're obviously very brown because I used whole wheat flour, but they rose really well, which 
I wasn't really concerned that they wouldn't, but I'm glad that they did. And I don't think, I won't know until I stack them in a second, but I don't think that I'm gonna need to make a third, but we'll see. All right, so I lost the bottom of that one. Awesome. <laughs> Bad lighting. I was trying to keep this video pretty much only about Margot's birthday, but Brandon just came and got me out of bed to show me this. It is snowing. Well, it's raining now, but it was snowing <laughs> a little bit ago. So who knows if this will even be here in the morning, which makes me so sad because I was hoping the kids would see it. But if you remember my vlog from last year when Margot was born, it snowed really bad on her birthday and the day after and coming home was like crazy in snow. So yeah, I just thought I would show this just to have it. But like I said, and I'm sure you can hear it, now it's raining so you probably, <laughs> probably won't have this in the morning. But yeah, I was so excited because this is about all the snow I can tolerate and then I start hating it. <sighs> Good morning guys. It is 10 o'clock, Party City just opened so time to go pick up Margo's balloons. I thought I would, whoo, it is cold out here. I thought I'd show you what the snow is looking like. It is definitely melting. So, not so much for the kids to play in, but it was at least fun last night while it lasted. That's about all the snow I like. I don't like cold weather, and I don't even like the fact that I have to go drive in this, but it's pretty much all melting down as if it was rain on the ground, so I'm not scared. It's not necessarily cold enough right now to like be iced over on the road, so that's good. But anyway, today is the day. The plan right now is to, like I said, go get the birthday balloons, and then when I come back, we have to, and by we, I really just need me. Uh, I need to ice the cupcakes and ice, I should have did that last night. I don't know what I was thinking because I was up. Um, and then I need to ice her birthday cake, like the smash cake. And then I need to make the tea sandwiches. And I was too afraid to make the tea sandwiches last night because I didn't want the bread to be all soggy and everything like that. So when I get back, I'm gonna quickly do that. And it shouldn't take too, too long. But I'm excited and I want to show you guys the table and how pretty, hopefully it, it turns out how I see it in my mind. I mean, this is a very COVID birthday. Obviously, if these were normal times, we would be having a huge party. It would have been yesterday probably. And I would have put like all of my creative effort into it. But with this, I literally texted my best friend three days ago and was like, I don't know what I'm doing about Margot's party. I have nothing planned. And so we kind of just started thinking about, okay, like a tea party, we have the tea set, we might as well do the tea party. I have a lot of the other stuff already and then we just ordered little bits here and there and I think we're gonna be able to pull it off since it's just the four of us, it shouldn't be that bad. But what my goal is, is to have photos that look like she had an amazing, amazing birthday because it makes me sad that it's her first birthday and we're not blowing it out like we did with Sebastian, which I mean, it was a little over the top on his birthday, personally, on his first one. I think we, we did too much. But who? what parent doesn't want to do that on the very first birthday? Because it's also a partial celebration for you as a parent. You've made it a whole year with your baby, and you want to celebrate that. But anyway, I am just driving now. The streets look beautiful, so I'm going to get off of here, and I'll catch back up with you when we're home. We are back and this is her balloon. I just did six clear balloons with some rose gold confetti in them and then the rose gold number one. I'm not the biggest fan of rose gold, but I actually find this to not be as offensive as some rose gold because it's not very copper, it's more pink. And the only other options were to do gold or silver and the gold was very yellow and the silver just didn't feel like a birthday. So 
I think the pink one is really pretty and I think she'll like it. But right now, I'm gonna set you here because I'm getting ready to ice the cakes. We pulled them out of the freezer just a little bit ago. And I like to freeze the layers before I ice them. And it seems to always work out the best, but the tips that like the cake bakers will tell you is to freeze the layers so that um, it's easier to ice them when it comes time. So the one that broke is this one. You can see the bottom. And basically, I don't know, I just had to stop filming for a second, I don't remember what I was saying. But I'm gonna put the layer that broke on the bottom, and I typically like to put the flap part up, meaning the bottom side of the cake, but since it broke, that's gonna be really hard to try to ice. So I'm going to make that the bottom and smooth out the middle. So I just put a little bit of icing here on the tray to help it stay in place. And then what I'm gonna do is pick this up, try to avoid as much, much more breakage as possible. And I'm going to flip it on, there we go. And then I'm gonna ice this layer and then stick this on. It's a thin layer because it's just the crumb layer. And then put this one on and I'll basically use this whole jar and then I'll go back over it with different icing, which will be the layers that are on the outside. So I'll probably put you on a little bit of a time lapse, but I don't think I'll film much of this because it's not there's not really much to see. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about this cake. It's not made from the regular ingredients that I'm used to making cake from, and it's not holding, like it keeps breaking apart, even though they were frozen. I'm not really sure what to do. Okay, so cake update. The crumb layer is coming together, thank God. I was very worried at first because this isn't typical cake, so it's not holding like a regular cake. I can't remember if I said that already. So trying to ice this was really, really difficult and it was breaking apart, but I think I was able to salvage it enough that I can get the crumb layer together and then I'm gonna pop it back in the refrigerator for just a few minutes and still need to work on it just a little bit more and then I can ice it again with the icing that'll be on the outside. But thank God, it was looking a little rough there for a minute, but I was able to like patch up all the holes. Now I just need to like smooth it out a little bit more. And I think we're gonna be okay. Just want you to raise my room. Something sensational. Oh, yeah. And make me move. So now I'm just going to pop. You want to go wake her up? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm going to pop all of these flowers into the tops of these cupcakes. And then I'm going to fluff them so that they don't look so perfect. And this will serve as like a bouquet on her table since we're not doing... Well, I was going to get like a vase and put flowers in it. But there was just no room on the table when I was making this setup. So this will work in its place to try to like, you know, put some florals on the table since it's a tea party. And you'll see that in just a moment when I show the table. But now I'm just going to fluff these flowers. And then once I'm finished with this, I will get back to icing the cake. I just dropped a dot of food coloring into some icing and I'm just mixing it around and then I'm gonna start applying it to the cake. It's gonna be like a pale pink once it touches this cake because this one is so white already. You can kind of see it's on the top and that's exactly what we were going for. So let's hope that I can execute this and then cover up all the of the crumb layer with the nice frosting. And then I'm gonna put the peonies on top. All right guys, here is the final product. I think it turned out really pretty. So this is the cake. It's not my best work, but it looks fine. And then here is the tower. We have egg salad sandwiches. We have smoked salmon. We have 
some cucumber and dill, cream cheese, and vegan ones for Margo and Brandon. Macaroons and cupcakes. <laughs> yes. You ready? Yeah. And um, I think it turned out really, really cute. So we're about to dig in and eat. You need to try macaroon. You want to try one? You want pink or green? You want pink or green? Pink. Pink? Okay. Ooh, good bird. <laughs> Raspberry oh. jam. How's that? You like it? We're just having dinner. We're finishing dinner, really. The kids are sitting here with Brandon. Hi, birthday girl. Hi. We're just, like I said, eating with the kids. I'm about to actually just pull some pictures off of my camera so that I can post them on my Instagram. I just wanted to quickly wrap the vlog up. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tea party we did for Margo. And if you are like us where you're still not having a lot of people over, a few of you reached out to me on Instagram saying that you are the same. I just wanted to give you some encouragement that like you can still have a nice little party with just your immediate family whether it's two kids or one child and you and your spouse or partner there is a way to just still make a day really special and take a bunch of pictures and when you look back on it no one's gonna even know that like this was a really weird couple years that we had here as far as not being able to get together with family and friends but um, we're all in this together and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what kind of birthday party themes you've done for your kids because Sebastian's birthday is in six months and I need some ideas. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.